classes aren't quite as common as structs in Swift, but they are still very useful for sharing data. And if you ever go back and learn Apple's older UIKit framework, you'll find them invaluable. Let's pause and recap what we've learned. First up, structs and classes have lots of things in common, including properties, methods, and more. But there are five key differences between classes and structs, and it's important you understand them all. First, classes can inherit from other classes, so they gain access to the properties and methods of their parent. You can optionally override methods in child classes, and also mark them as being final to stop other classes inheriting from them. Second, Swift does not generate a memberwise initializer for classes. It's just not possible. So you've got to do it yourself. If a subclass has its own initializer, it must always call the parent initializer at some point. Third, copies of a class instance point to the same instance. If you change one, they will all change. Fourth, classes have the initializers that run when the last copy of one instance is destroyed. And finally, you can change variable properties inside constant class instances, whether or not they are constant classes, variable classes, doesn't matter. What matters is, is a property itself variable or constant.